Hey there guys, Derek here. Just finishing up my coffee. Ah, I love my coffee. So, um, just wanted to do a quick video before I get down to the basement. Sorry, you know, getting getting on with the with the cleanup. Hopefully by the end of the week I should uh set my workshop uh going. And then give you guys a little quick tour and show you what I'll be doing down there. But anyway, I had a couple of questions. Um I went ahead and, and uh took two of these um I always forget what they are. The IRF five forty uh ends and uh I, I stuck them in parallel. And I was trying to run it I was running it last night. And I was getting a very, very poor um output over here, just on the regular flyback. And I'm not quite sure why that is, if it, if it has to do with with the primary turns, or is it because the um, the resistor value that I'm using for for the for the for the gate is is wrong? Do, do I need to use a lesser um, a lesser resistor value? I, I don't know. I, I was looking at some of the the, the forums and said that yeah, you might have to change the um, the resistor value. And then some said no, you don't have to. Just you know, just just you know, hook up the the um, the gate and the drain and the source, you know, uh, with with the wires, and you should be good to go. So I I don't know, you know, it's kind of hit and miss with some of those forms. And I'd rather ask you guys because, well, you guys have been so helpful and uh, really nice, you know, leaving me the comments and whatnot and and helping me out. So I'd rather ask the experts. Um, uh, one other thing is, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, I, cause I have the I have the regular the high voltage out right here, right? And when I'm using the the PWM and just the, you know just a single uh, MOSFET gate driver, uh, the the output I mean it's good, but it's not great. And then I stick this on here. I I was I, uh, I sent Pete Ritchie a um, uh, a message and asked him about it. It's one of those uh. Xenon uh, flash tubes you get from the cameras. I, st I stick this on here, you know, just like this, on a piece of wire, and the output is is far much greater. I, I don't I don't understand why. Um, don't don't really know. Um, if you guys know anything about that, you know, leave me a comment, please. Uh, unfortunately, this guy down here, my little uh, my little transfer, my wall my wall wart. Trusty, trusty 12 volts. I'm gonna have to make some kind of new uh, rectifier here, and then maybe add another cap. They got pretty, pretty black. I know you guys can't see it that well, but you you can see the char marks kind of underneath there. It it does not like the the PWM, the PWM driver at all. And when I tried hooking this up last night to the uh, the PWM, it, I could start smelling some smoke. These these got in, insanely hot these uh these diodes and the uh the cap there got insanely hot so I might have to uh either fix that up or eventually get that damn battery charger over there which is that um goes between six and twelve volts at three amps and it might be a better bet to use for this for this circuit. Um yeah. I also found a a variable um what the hell is it? Uh, laptop power supply that goes from I think it's 12, 12 to 30, 30 volts at like was 11.5 amps. So I'm definitely going to get that, and I can definitely make, or finally, hopefully, make a CVS driver. Pretty pumped about that. So uh, yeah, just a uh, just a couple questions, guys. I just you know, just I don't know how to get this uh, get this going. If I got to play play with the the resistor, or is it the windings? Yeah. I don't know. So, pretty sure one of you guys can help me out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start getting getting to work in the basement. So, uh, I hope you guys have a really nice day. Stay safe with the projects. And cheers.